Just because there aren't any more MCU movies coming out this year doesn't mean the cinema is a dead zone. Okay, we saw it. Should we go now? Who ordered the chicken? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated movies for the rest of 2019. For this list, we're taking a look at eagerly awaited movies that'll be hitting theaters between late July and December 2019. Number 10, Terminator Dark Fate, release date November 1st, 2019. Terminator 3 did not live up to expectations, Salvation added little to the franchise's mythos, and Genesis appeared to be the final nail in the coffin. So why should we have faith in Terminator Dark Fate? Because this sequel marks the return of producer James Cameron, who hasn't been directly involved in this action series since Terminator 2. How do we win? We win by keeping you alive. As such, Dark Fate ignores everything that happened after the second movie, picking up with Linda Hamilton's Sarah Connor almost 30 years later. Arnie is also back as a T-800, along with new additions like Mackenzie Davis as a cyborg-human hybrid, Gabriel Luna as the villainous Rev-9, and Natalia Reyes as a woman who will play a vital role in the future. Can Deadpool director Tim Miller fix the timeline? Number 9. Gemini Man – Release date, October 11th, 2019 Gemini Man entered development in 1997, but it's taken over 20 years to bring the film to the silver screen, ultimately landing in the lap of visionary director Ang Lee. I think I know why he's as good as you. He is you. Back in the late 90s, Hollywood wasn't quite at the point where technology could believably de-age an actor. Now, however, it's starting to become a common practice. Captain Marvel already took a couple of decades off Samuel L. Jackson, and Will Smith is looking so youthful in Gemini Man that you would swear he just walked off the set of Fresh Prince. In a dual performance, Smith plays Henry Brogan, an assassin who must face off against his younger clone. Gee, between Aladdin and this film, Smith has been getting the CG treatment a lot in 2019. Of all the people in the world to come after me, why would he send you? Number 8. The Goldfinch. Release date, September 13th, 2019. In Baby Driver, Ansel Elgort plays a troubled young man who turns to bank robbing after his parents are killed in a car accident. In The Goldfinch, Elgort plays another lost soul who gets involved in art forgery after his mother is killed in a terrorist attack. In Amsterdam, I dreamt I saw my mother again. Same beautiful pale blue eyes. Elgort is just on the cusp of superstardom, and this adaptation of Donna Tartt's Pulitzer Prize winning novel may elevate him to A-lister territory. The acclaimed source material and Elgort's rising star status aren't the only reasons why the Goldfinch may emerge as a favorite come award season. You never know what's going to decide your future. Director John Crowley already delivered a Best Picture nominee with 2015's Brooklyn, and his follow-up film is promised to be another deeply personal human drama. Please tell me it isn't true. Number 7. Ford v Ferrari – Release date, November 15th, 2019 It's not about speed, it's about the racer behind the wheel, and Ford v Ferrari has a reliable driver in director James Mangold. No, whatever it is, Shell, no, trust me. With previous credits that include Walk the Line and Logan, Mangold has the drive to kick this rousing true story into high gear. Matt Damon plays automotive designer Carol Shelby, and Christian Bale stars as race car driver Ken Miles, two men who would pave the way for the Ford GT40 to go the distance at the 1966 24 Hours of Le Mans. We heard he's difficult. No, no, Ken's a puppy dog. As the title suggests, Ford's main competitor was the Ferrari, which was considered unstoppable. Originally intended to star Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt, Ford v Ferrari spent years parked in production hell, and now it's ready to burn rubber. <laughs> Number 6. Zombieland Double Tap – Release date, October 18, 2019 After Jesse Eisenberg became an Oscar nominee and Emma Stone became an Oscar winner, it seemed increasingly unlikely they'd ever star in the long-requested sequel to Zombieland. Words cannot express… The two haven't forgotten their roots, however, as they're reprising their roles just in time for the original's 10-year anniversary. Eisenberg and Stone are once again joined by Woody Harrelson and an all-grown-up Abigail Breslin. While we're still waiting to see Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd in the new Ghostbusters movie, both comedians are set to appear in the sequel. So do you have any regrets? <laughs> Garfield, maybe? Huh. If Murray regrets Garfield, we wonder if Aykroyd will share his thoughts on Yogi Bear. In any case, it's great to have the gang together again for a few Twinkies more. Rule number 32. 
Enjoy the little things. Tallahassee got his Twinkie. Number five, Dr. Sleep. Release date, November 8th, 2019. When Stephen King wrote a sequel to The Shining, Warner Brothers did not hesitate to greenlight an adaptation. Since King was never a fan of the 1980 film, we were all curious to see if Dr. Sleep would borrow any cues from Stanley Kubrick. The trailer answered our question, showcasing a young Danny Torrance riding his tricycle through the Overlook Hotel, blood surging out of the elevator, and even a snippet of the original film's musical score. Ewan McGregor plays an adult Dan Torrance, who is forced to confront his past upon encountering a young girl with a shine. You're magic, like me. Alcoholism is also at the forefront of Dan's psychological torment, and it'll take more than a spoonful of red rum to make the medicine go down. Number 4. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Release date, July 26, 2019. Quentin Tarantino's ninth film hasn't had the easiest journey to theaters. Anybody order fried sauerkraut? After cutting ties with the Weinstein Company due to the sexual abuse allegations against co-founder Harvey Weinstein, Tarantino scrambled to find a new distributor and secure a sizable budget. On top of that, actor Burt Reynolds passed away before his scenes were shot, requiring Bruce Dern to step in. If the response following the film's premiere at Cannes is any indication, though, Tarantino has pulled off another triumph. All right, what's the matter, partner? It's official, old buddy. Well, has been. Tarantino transports audiences back to 1960s Los Angeles with an all-star cast headlined by Leonardo DiCaprio as a washed-up Western star, Brad Pitt as a stunt double, and Margot Robbie as Sharon Tate. It also features the late Luke Perry in his final film role. Hey, you're Rick f***ing Dalton. Don't you forget it. Number 3, It Chapter 2. Release date, September 6th, 2019. The Stephen king sauce continues with a sequel to the highest grossing horror movie of all time. But you know what they say about Derry? Hmm. No one who dies here ever really dies. Just as the 1990 miniseries was split into two halves, this second chapter picks up with a grown-up losers club roughly 27 years after their initial run-in with Pennywise. The adult cast is a dream come true, with James McAvoy as Bill, Bill Hader as Richie, and Jessica Chastain as Beverly. It's me and the Losers Club has officially begun. We can't help but wonder if they'll also cross paths with an adult Danny Torrance. Now there's a cinematic universe Warner Brothers should invest in. Even if that crossover isn't in the cards, the Losers are all returning to Derry to settle the score with the dancing clown. Who will get the last laugh? Hello. Number 2. Joker. Release date, October 4th, 2019. Pennywise isn't the only clown who'll scar audiences in 2019. After Heath Ledger's Oscar-winning performance as the Joker, we never thought there would be a more complex, disturbing, or grounded portrayal of the iconic villain. She told me I had a purpose. To bring laughter and joy to the world. Joaquin Phoenix and director Todd Phillips could take the Clown Prince of Crime to unprecedented places in this standalone movie, though. Joker shares no connection to the DCEU and doesn't even classify as a superhero movie. <laughs> you What's so funny? Just... Freak! <laughs> it's a psychological thriller that mixes elements of Taxi Driver and other Martin Scorsese pictures. The film even co-stars Robert De Niro as a talk show host who antagonizes struggling stand-up comedian Arthur Fleck. For anyone who's seen The King of Comedy, it would appear the clown shoe is on the other foot now. Well, I can already picture us doing an It vs. Joker video down the line. Or It vs. Doctor Sleep. Also, isn't it kind of interesting that none of the movies on this list so far are superhero movies, technically? Anyway, I have a pretty good guess as to what number one is, and I bet you do too. So why don't you wait until after these honorable mentions to see if you're right. Access granted. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. I have one important question. Who is Jumanji? Is that Barbara's boy?
We're gonna die. We did die. Are we in hell? I knew it. Oh, my God. All in the wonderful quite at the end yet. Almost there, though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number 1. Star Wars Episode 9: The Rise of Skywalker Release date, December 20th, 2019 The Star Wars franchise has dominated popular culture for over 40 years, and The Rise of Skywalker is the culmination of everything, from George Lucas's original trilogy to the prequel trilogy and Disney sequel trilogy. We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. The pressure is on director J.J. Abrams to stick the landing, especially after Solo underperformed at the box office and The Last Jedi became the most divisive blockbuster since, well, ever. As the end of the Skywalker saga, Episode 9 is inclined to be the final curtain for Mark Hamill and the late Carrie Fisher, who will be featured in the film through previously unused footage. We'll always be with you. Even if this is indeed the end, no one's ever really gone, including Emperor Palpatine. Oh yeah, Ian McDermott is back, baby. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.